Just wanted to show you a quick update of my spinach that I planted. This would be baby spinach, by the way. It's like as big as my, well, maybe you think I have baby hands. But this is a big leaf of spinach. Anyway, it's supposed to be baby spinach, but apparently it grew massive. Um, I'm pretty pleased with it. This is the best I've ever done with spinach. My plan is to cut this off and let it grow back. I've got another thing of lettuce over here to cut. Uh, this has been growing for what seems like forever. So uh, this is like 30 days. And that's what I'm used to. I've been growing lettuce for 30 days. And it grows these awesome massive heads of lettuce. And then I grow spinach and it takes like two months to get this much spinach. It's just not quite as awesome if you look at it from that point of view. But hey, I got spinach. When I grow spinach outside, I can't seem to avoid the bugs when I eat it all. But inside, inside, that seems to be the ticket. So there's my spinach, my massive dinosaur leaves, instead of my baby spinach, but I think it'll still taste great. Let's try it. Yeah, tastes great. All right, this is my spinach that I grew using the Cracky Method non-circulating hydroponics. This is a three gallon tote. There are six plants in here and I have cut them once and now it is time to cut them for the second and final time. And the reason why it is the final time is because some of them are starting to flower, like this little fellow out in front and this guy back here and this guy back here. Every plant has its life cycle and you can't really take them too much further beyond that. Just wanted to talk a little bit about a few of the lessons I learned growing spinach using the Cracky Method of Hydroponics. One is, I tried planting it directly in the hydrogen and that didn't work because the seeds fell through. They're still too small. Even though the spinach seeds are big, they're still too small to really have them lodge and germinate in the hydrogen. So don't do that. Lesson two, I tried to plant, notice how these ones in front are much smaller than the ones in the middle and even the ones in the back? Well, the two in the back germinated in the hydrogen. The other four did not. So I planted another crop to try to get them to catch up. And then I had some others that didn't germinate, so I planted yet a third crop, uh, maybe a few days apart, but these were so far ahead of these other ones that they just outcompeted these. And if you look at the roots in here, you can see the roots on these front ones are much smaller than the ones on the back. Um, they just didn't have, they just couldn't catch up. They couldn't keep up with the, you know, these guys sucked up the nutrients, they sucked up the solution and these fellows up here couldn't catch up. So lesson, whatever number I'm on, is plant plants of the same, you know, nutrient and water requirements. That may seem obvious, but even if you have the same kind of plants, littler plants aren't gonna be able to keep up with the bigger plants if you're using a cracky system because it drinks the water down. Now, if you have a deep water culture, by all means, put it in there because you keep the water full to the top or, a, you know, whatever other style you're doing, but, um, for a cracky system, it doesn't work quite as well. And then my final lesson is that set your expectations appropriately for spinach. If you've grown lettuce, and lettuce is a great first thing to, to, to grow because it's so easy and so forgiving, lettuce is very prolific. Like if I had two lettuce plants in here, by the time it was done, it would be, you know, two or three times its size. Uh, it just gets huge and it, and it grows, you know, tons of, of foliage. Uh, spinach is not quite as prolific. And I suppose it depends on the variety, but it's not quite as prolific. So know what to expect. There are six plants in here. And like I said, I've cut it once before, uh, and I'm going to cut it for the second time. So I'm pleased with the results, but it doesn't produce as prolifically as spinach, so or as as a uh, lettuce. So just know what to expect. But overall, I'm pleased with the results. You can see the plants here, and I will be doing it again. And I, I think this was the right setup for me to plant six plants in one three gallon container, even though that's not enough to raise, you know, not enough solution to, to raise them to maturity. What I did though, is I monitored the water levels very closely and I monitored the roots very closely to make sure there was no sign of the root rot or other problems. And I did change the water once or twice. I ran a little bit of hydrogen peroxide through there just to kind of keep it clean when I changed the water, just 24 hours water and hydro and I dumped it and, and then I replaced it with nutrient solution. So I refilled it once and other than that, that's kind of all I did to it. It's pretty much set and forget it. But uh, there's my spinach. Good luck and happy Kratky-ing.